So now I took a seat to have it very comfortable and we have already heard so many different details about the train and that it's first in class, about the filling stations. But now let's dive a little bit deeper and get to know more about the technology. And I'm sure that you're also very curious to know more about the energy management system and the setup and about the energy infrastructure of the train. And this is what we want to show you now. Caradia Island is special for its combination of different innovative elements. A clean energy conversion, a flexible energy storage capacity and smart management of the traction power and remaining energy. The principle relies on a fuel cell which produces the electric power. It's the core of the system. The fuel cell is supplied with hydrogen on demand. By combination of hydrogen with oxygen from ambient air inside, the fuel cell produces the electric energy needed to supply the vehicle. The efficiency of the system also relies on the storage of energy in high-performance lithium-ion batteries. They accumulate the energy not immediately used in order to later supply it as needed. This results in a better efficiency of the fuel consumption. Alstom has also designed a smart power and energy management system in order to instantaneously deliver power wherever needed in the train, resulting in greater independence of the vehicle. The fuel cell is mainly used to provide traction power during the acceleration phases with extra support from the batteries if any extra acceleration boost is required. At the same time, during the braking phases, the kinetic energy is generated by the traction inverter system, making the train nearly self-sufficient to power its onboard equipment. It's the secondary energy production. Any surplus is redirected to charge the batteries. This system has an additional consumption advantage as it saves hydrogen. During coasting or low acceleration phases, the batteries supply the energy necessary to power traction as well as onboard systems the fuel cell remaining constantly available to recharge the batteries whenever necessary. Let me now introduce my next guest to you. His name is Andreas Frixen and he is the Green Rail Solutions Director of Alstom and he is going to tell us more. So Andreas, hello and good to have you first of all. Hello, thanks and good to have you here. So please tell us from your perspective what is so special about this train. Well, first of all, it's the first hydrogen train ever that has a full homologation that is running in passenger service. And of course, today is a great day because we, we are doing a world record. Oh yes, we're doing that. So if you look back to 10 years, would you have expected that this vision really becomes reality today? No, <laughs> <laughs> a clear no. 10 years ago, um, I heard of hydrogen, mm -hmm. I heard of fuel cells, and of course I knew trains. But 10 years ago, hydrogen and fuel cell and trains together that was not on the agenda. That yeah. was there was something unthinkable, so to say. Wow. At that time, there was only electrified lines with, you know, electric trains, and there was non-electrified lines where there was diesel trains, and that was it. Mm. It's only about eight years ago, I think, 2014, when the first ideas in our minds came to find some alternatives to the diesel on the non-electrified lines, and that we were just thinking, what can we do? And then this idea grew and grew, and then in 2016, the first prototype and so on. But for me personally, the journey began in 2017, so only five years ago. So if I would have asked you if you would imagine it five years ago, then you would have said it, answered it with yes? It would have been... That's a very difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, when I came on board, there was obviously, the vision was there, uh, the people were already working on the technology of the train, the engineers were already designing, so it was clear that it will happen. Um, would I be, would I, would, would I have said that in five years we have the train running with passengers doing this world record? No. Wow, great. Yes. So it's a very special moment today. Absolutely. Um, maybe you can tell us also something about the specific composition of the train. So it's based on a very successful regional train model of Alstom, which is the Lind. What had exactly to be changed to transform it into the Corradia Island? Yes, um, very true. So we started on the basis of the Corradia Lind, which is a very successful diesel train, as you said. So we sold more than 1,000 trains of these. So I think the first trains went into operation in 2000. Um, and that since then have been, uh, uh, you know, 
improved and, and new generations. So we had a, a basis where we know that this is very good for the market, so to fit the regional market. And then we thought, okay, the train is good, but we need to be somehow more energy, uh, sorry, environmentally friendly, so decarbonizing. Mm -hmm. And um, then we thought, okay, the train itself is fine, but we need to change the traction system. And that's what we did. So basically we replaced the diesel engine and all the diesel equipment by hydrogen equipment, by the fuel cell, by the tanks, and also the electrical traction motor. So in the end, or in a nutshell, it is still the same car body, yeah. but we improved it in a way that we can have the environmentally friendly equipment on board. And then also we introduced some more novelties for passengers like Wi-Fi on board and stuff like that. So Andreas, now we have spent some hours and of course some kilometers together in this train today. Yes. Do you still get goosebumps? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do, yes, yes. Now it's it's absolutely exciting. I mean, it's uh, whenever we, we have a stop like, like we just had because of some signaling issues uh, on the network, I'm, I'm getting nervous and look at the clock and I said, oh, come on guys, we want to make it. We, yeah. we know that we can, but uh, you know, it's, 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 it's something, it's real life. Mm -hmm. It's not on a test string, it's on the real network, it's under real operating conditions, so anything can happen. Of course, I have goosebumps and I'm extremely yeah. nervous. <laughs> so we have one target today, and um, we want to have a distance record run today. So what is your perception? Which mileage will we cover today? Well, the target is, of course, to, to make it the full way from Bremerförde up until almost the, the border to uh, Austria. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, the idea is to, 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 to end in Burghausen, huh? yeah. in Bavaria, um, which makes it a, a run from the sea into the mountains, if you want. And um, the mileage, in the end, I want to have a four-digit mileage, and okay. as much as possible above. Yeah. Uh, we are a bit limited, of course, because we have the timetable from Deutsche Bahn, and uh, we need to, to respect the working hours for the, for the drivers, but everything beyond 1,000 is Fine, perfect. Can we do that. <laughs> so where in the world do you see other hydrogen applications in rail also in the near future? Yes, hydrogen on rails I think is really something for the future. So this is the first step. Uh, a regional train is, is, is really a good starting point because a lot of percentage of the railway network for regional trains is not electrified. So today there's diesel trains. We, replace, we can replace them by hydrogen trains. Um, that means it's the biggest field of application. But what we also see is that, for example, in shunting locomotives, in locomotives or even in, in, in other traffic, higher speed traffic, there is a chance and some realistic chances to replace diesel trains with hydrogen trains. Yeah. Yes. Andreas, thank you so much for the talk. You're more than welcome. So you've heard it, the tension is so high and everyone is really, really excited about this day and this special project today. So um, let's discover more and stay tuned and I hope this tension comes across to you also. We will see each other later.